Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about another form of transformations. Uh, this one is called rotations. Uh, so we've previously talked about dilations, translations, and uh, reflections. So rotations is our fourth type of transformation. Rotations are basically we're going to take an image or a point and we're going to rotate it around the graph based on a certain number of degrees that, that they will ask for. So there are some more rules that we have to add to our rule sheet. Um, we have quite a few so far. So these are three more rules that we need to uh, learn. So the first rule is going to be 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now moving 90 degrees counterclockwise is the exact same thing as moving 270 degrees clockwise. So remember, think about clockwise is like a clock, okay? So we would start here at 12 and we'd move around for an hour, right? Clockwise is you start at 12 and you go in the reverse. So just, you want to definitely understand the difference between those two, but these two would end up in the exact same place. So we have one rule to recognize both of those types, uh, and it would be xy becomes negative y X. So we flip our X and Y position and the Y becomes negative. Okay, now our second type of rotation would be 180 degrees. Now it doesn't matter whether it's 180 degrees counterclockwise or 180 degrees clockwise. It's like moving from here to here or from here to here, you still get to the same place. Okay, um, so our rule there would be X, Y becomes negative X negative y, so we are just flipping the signs of our x and our y. And then our last type of rotation is the reverse of this one. So 270 degrees counterclockwise or 90 degrees clockwise. So again, those two say the exact same thing. You would end up in the, in the same place regardless of which one you're doing. So we have one rule to recognize those two types, um, x, y becomes y comma negative x. So in that case, we're gonna flip the x and y places and the x is going to become negative. These make a little more sense, I think, once you actually start seeing them. We're gonna use the same point three times, the same triangle, three times, and we're gonna do each of these types of transformations to see how they look and how they would work. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is a 90 degrees counterclockwise or 270 degrees clockwise. Again, same thing. We're gonna follow this rule down here. So we're gonna take that A, which is currently sitting at 4, 2. It's gonna become A prime and now it will be, so our Y needs to come to the front and it's gonna flip sign. So the two will come to the front, it's currently positive, so we're gonna make it negative. And the X is gonna move to the back and it will keep its current sign. Now for B prime, again our Y is gonna come forward and become negative. The two is going to go to the back. The X is going to move to the back and keep its sign. For C prime, the Y is going to move forward and become negative. In this case, the two is going to move to the back and keep its sign. So let's plot our new triangle, our new image, using these new points. So our first one will fall at negative two, positive four. So we do want to label that A prime. Second point would fall at negative one, two, and we will call that B prime. Last point, negative three, positive two, and that is our C prime. So let's go ahead and connect the dots. So we rotated this either 90 degrees counterclockwise or 270 degrees clockwise. Either way, we're ending up in this spot over here. OK, 
Okay, now let's look at this next one. We're gonna move 180 degrees and it doesn't matter whether it's counterclockwise or clockwise, we're gonna end up at the same, same place. So this rule is remember xy becomes negative x, negative y. We're just gonna flip every sign that we can. Okay, so a is gonna become a prime. We're gonna put the four, it's gonna stay in its place, but it's gonna flip the sign. Same thing with two, it's gonna stay in the back, but it's gonna become negative. For B prime, the two is positive, it's gonna become negative. The one is positive, he's also gonna become negative. Now for C prime, two is gonna become negative, and the three is gonna become negative. So let's plot that new image. So negative four, negative two, Negative four, negative two is my A prime. Okay, B prime is gonna fall at negative two, negative one. That'll be our B prime. C prime is negative two, negative three. And that is our C prime. Let's go ahead and connect the dots. So you'll notice this just went around 180 degrees, or you could say counterclockwise went around 180 degrees to become this new image. Let's try this one. So this time we're gonna be going 270 degrees counterclockwise, so 270 this way, or 90 degrees clockwise, so just moving uh, one space over this way. All right, our rule is y, so xy becomes y comma negative x. So we're gonna flip the x and the y, and the x is gonna become negative in the back. So that a is gonna become a prime. So the y is gonna come forward. The x is gonna go to the back, and it's gonna become negative. It's gonna flip the sign for b prime. The y is gonna come forward, the x is gonna go in the back, and it's gonna change sign. For C prime, the y is gonna come forward, and the x is gonna go in the back, and flip the sign. So let's plot this new image. Two, negative four, two, negative four. That is our new A prime. Right. B is 1, negative 2. That is our B prime. And C is 3, negative 2. Let's go ahead and connect the dots. All right, so as you can see, we just either went 90 degrees clockwise or 270 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, you guys try this one. I want you to rotate the following points 180 degrees. Notice I didn't specify whether it was counterclockwise or clockwise because it doesn't actually matter. It could be either one. So sometimes teachers will kind of throw that one at you, hoping you'll you're second guess yourself, but don't let it trick you. It doesn't matter which direction it's gonna end up at the same point. So rotate those three points 180 degrees to find out your new image, your prime, points. So I will post the answer in the description below this video. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.